going into you know, year two as the full-time starter, what, what do you expect out of yourself? Um, just to compete day in, day out, you know, um, home in on my craft, get the little things right, you know, and just continue to be a leader on the offensive line. With, with Vanderbilt right around the corner and the season here and the expectations, what do you all expect out of yourself? Do you let the, uh, I guess, the, the preseason hype and the expectations for you all get in your minds at all, or do you just let it go? Not at all, man, because, I mean, especially as an offensive line, we weren't, you know, completely good. We gave up too many sacks, you know, we had a lot of little things that we could have fixed. You know, toward the mid and end of the season, we really – honed in on the little things and got them better, but we're trying to pick off where we left off and get better from there. Matt said that uh, you, you're, you and Pierce have got to do a job of, of tutoring Laramie. He's going to play. What have you seen from him so far, and what kind of tips and advice do you give him? Uh, Laramie? Yeah. Oh, Laramie, a, he's a class act, man. He's a definitely talented kid. He's always he's got to keep his head, level head and learn how to practice harder and just play hard when he's tired. But as far as the fundamentals, you know, it's little things here and there, but for him to be a freshman and as talented as he is, he'll be just fine. Emmanuel, how many guys do you think y'all will play this year? What, 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 how many would be in a rotation? Mm -hmm. Probably about seven or eight, you know. Uh, I mean, a decent game. You know, Coach already likes to rotate the tackles pretty good. And with Laramie in, he'll definitely get a chance to play a good bit. So, and then uh, Duke and guards and stuff, you know, like to rotate. So, I mean, I say about seven or eight guys. Does that make you feel pretty good going into the season? I mean, y'all didn't come out much last year. Definitely, definitely. I mean, now we can play harder knowing that, you know, we may not get that break, you know, in the next series. So it'll, it'll definitely give us a second win. Tim, personally, do you guys have to take it keeping Bo clean, keeping him up? Uh, I mean, him coming off the surgery and everything, we're taking it personal already just because we already kind of feel responsible for last year's injury. You know, you definitely want to see your quarterback hurt. And with the quarterback situations we got going on, you know, we never know who's next after Bo right now. You know, we, don't, we really don't know that right now. So we just want to keep him as healthy as possible. Tempo wise, how do y'all feel going into year two as a unit with this? We feel faster. We just still, we're still getting into tempo shape. You know, I mean, it's looking pretty good. We're definitely ahead of schedule, but not what we want to be. You know what I'm saying? So we got a couple guys that were out for surgeries and injuries and stuff that still got to get in shape, like Junin and uh, Aaron. So, but for the most part, we're moving faster and we're looking better, thinking how, faster. How big is it then for the tempo to have depth? For the first time, I mean, last year y'all didn't really have a ton of to have guys you know that can come in and not really skip a beat. It's pretty important, man, because I mean, after those 15 play drives and a quick turnover, I mean, that hurts, you know, <laughs> that really does hurt. Like, you're like, ah, I'm glad we got a turnover, but now we got to push another drive, which is it's always good because the defense is just as tired. But when you can get fresh legs in there and guys, like, you know, so guys that know what they're doing, then it's, it makes it even better.